Good morning, everyone out there. Linda Bean from the Kelly and Dolan Memorial Fund. Psyched to join you on this beautiful Tuesday morning um, and going to be featuring, um, couldn't be more excited to shine a light on a wonderful mother-daughter team and uh, a, a beautiful store that I just kind of stumbled across in my happy place, Cape Cod. Um, why I am so um, pumped about this morning is really this duo does so much to promote um, things that we're very passionate about. The idea of neurodiversity, um, inclusion, that the sky is the limit for anyone out there to live their dream. So I wanna welcome to the studio, both Maddie and Becca Ahrensfield. Good morning. Morning, Good morning. Linda. Morning, how are you doing out there? We're good, thank you. Mm -hmm. How are you? Great, I'm great. I'm so delighted to have you. Um, such an incredible store featuring um, the artisans of New England and Cape Cod. But what really inspired me the most is it's a store with a mission and a purpose behind it. So tell me a little bit about why you started and opened Reciprocity. Well, Maddie obviously was our inspiration. Um, uh, she had started doing artwork in her um, with her group home that we had started up here. She was living with a few friends. And um, after college, she realized that she had this talent for um, starting to do original uh, greeting cards for family and friends. And she just started drawing one day. She says, what is it? Your stress reliever, right? My stress reliever, yes. <laughs> she, started, she started drawing with Sharpies and permanent markers, these rows of hearts and dividing them into pieces and then putting bubble letters on top of it. And a friend, a few friends of mine encouraged us to sell them to people. And I was kind of, no, that's not going to work. And they go, no, these are beautiful. People would love them. They're so inspirational. So we tested the waters and stuck our toe into farmer's markets and tried it there. And that was successful. And then we got accepted to, we, Maddie got accepted. I did the paperwork. She did all the hard work. <laughs> um, she got accepted into some juried art shows. And the next thing you know, we found a piece of property in downtown Harwichport, a, a lovely little beat, as you said, Linda, beat, yeah. off the beaten path. Uh, 1920s antique building that had a salon next to it, beauty salon, and a little house next door to it that lent so beautifully for Maddie to leave her group home setting and start living independently um, right next to the shop. So she lives right next to where she works. And uh, in the meantime, we had met this incredible population of artisans who had helped us along the way. Um, taught us everything from, you know, how to set up a booth to uh, sandbags for your tent to <laughs> the best way to showcase Maddie's artwork. And hence the name Reciprocity evolved. We decided to give back to them what they gave to us. And we showcase their artwork in about 75% of the show space. And then Maddie has a room in the back where all her cards are sold, her own little um, showroom. And um, the rest is history. It's worked out really beautifully. We've met incredible people. The, th the biggest thing that I learned is artists are so giving and just love to share and um, supportive The what they've given to Maddie and given to the shop too, because now we have their fans coming in and seeing their work here, which have been exposed to Maddie's artwork, et cetera. And it's given Maddie a full-time job and yeah. she's an amazing salesperson, which I think you experienced this summer. I did. I did. She was amazing. I couldn't believe how full the store was on a summer day. And Maddie, you just, you know, you just come alive and are able to just chat with anybody that walks in the door and connect with them. And you can feel the heartbeat of that store. And what I loved is it just so much aligns with who we are as an organization in how we support families. You're about community and lifting spirits and lifting each other up. And when I look at, I mean, I've got a couple of your cards here. I've got, let's see, I've got one of the dogs, uh, the guitar, such incredible um, artwork that there seems to be a theme of hearts throughout it. 
So Maddie, I, I'm curious. I would love to hear um, what you love most about being an artist. I love to, um, I like to draw. I like drawing, it helps me with my um, stress. And I like, I love doing art for people and you know, all my cards and everything. Do you have a favorite design? I do. One of your uh, I have my favorite design is the champagne glasses. The champagne glasses. Yeah. Which That's is so how... popular, and I think we're sold out of it. We were looking around the shop for it. <laughs> I don't think we have an example, but it is on the website and it will be back in stock. So on her online store. You know, one of the things that you just said, Maddie, I think is so valuable for anyone out there that's listening to this interview today. We all carry a lot of stress in our lives and we have to figure a way to express it or work it out in a way that it doesn't end up creating more stress or hurting us. And, you know, for me, my happy place is on a mountain and your happy places you found when you put, you know, your colors from your heart on a card or you know you, you've got those great sweatshirts and tote bags and all sorts of things that it's helping you but it's also sped, spreading such a message of hope and positivity for the world and i i don't know if you realize how much of a difference you are making for others by lifting their spirits yeah thank you for thank saying you. that linda thank yeah. you yeah yeah you bet I, you know, I also want to ask you, Maddie, what, what your favorite thing, I, I know it's, it's awesome having mom and dad and the pups around, um, and you float back and forth between Key West, um, but what do you love most about living independently by yourself when your parents are down in Florida? God, how is it? What do you, do you like living alone? Do you like having your own house? And... Yes, I'm very happy in my, in my own house, being independent. And I love having my mom to work with. Yes, I bet you got the best of both worlds. And I think you also have a pup that lives with you. Yes, his name is Tucker. Tucker. So when they're in Florida, you've got somebody to keep you company. And I know the beauty of, of Harwich Port is neighbors take care of one another. So I bet there are a lot of people that are checking in on you all of the time. Yes. Right. Oh, and there's the newest addition to the family, Meadow, <laughs> who's a couple years old, who's front and center and star. So beautiful. Yeah, Becca, she's our I'm, new shop dog. Yep. Yep. Our new mascot. Uh, she she's gonna be your 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 best other than Maddie, your best marketing tool right there to get folks in the shop. Absolutely. Becca, I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about your journey. Um as a mom, because there, there are some challenges when we're looking at um, when they max out of an educational setting, which is age 21. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's that going to look like? And I'd love you to share some of your insights or maybe what's helped you along the way. Well, the, you know, honestly, Linda, I know this sounds cheesy, but the, the biggest thing that has helped us along the way is listening to what Maddie wants. And um and her ideas. Uh, when she was a senior in high school, her younger sister was a junior and of course starting her journey with college hunting. And Maddie said to us, where am I going to college? And yeah. it was terrifying. It was like, what do we do now? Um, so, you know, we went to our high school and we talked to them and, and somebody actually sent us to Riverview um, where she interviewed, she got in, she spent uh, she repeated her senior year there and then she had two more years. But of course, as you said, it's that, that waiting room for real life. Um, they provided a, a, a decent at the time, a, a decent education for definitely, um, her reading, writing, all that stuff definitely improved. Um, I think it's a different time now, you know, that was over 10 years ago. And I think, um, supports have improved definitely there. And I know the school has evolved as well, but it was the life skills part. That was the really terrifying thing. My biggest advice probably to a parent is try something. And if it doesn't work, just redirect, try to find something else. And it, believe me, it was trial and error. Like, I, um, I don't know if I said before, but we had started this group home with friends of Maddie's, 
Um, and it was great for her at the time. And it learned how, you know, how to live in the community. But ultimately, she kept on striving to get her independence and be a little bit more advanced. And, and um, this home here and the shop alone has, I've seen growth in her that is unreal. Um, being able to let her make her own decisions with guidance. And it takes a village. You got to surround yourself sure. with people who share in your mission and share in your morals and, and what you're looking for your child. Maddie has found this amazing group of women who are um, beyond women, but uh, this amazing few people that have helped us along, including a couple of the artists in the shop that have helped her. And just, it's not all about me. She needs confidants. She needs people that she can trust and tell her secrets to that she knows is not going to come back to me. Um, but again, it's been trial and error and finding the right people that are going to support her and give her her best life. And um, I love that. It's, you know, it's, it, it's a leap of faith for, I think, for any parent, you know, and there's that okay. fine line between enabling um, and empowerment. We interviewed another mom some time ago who coined a phrase that her daughter uh, was really her professor in life, um, that she learned more um, about herself through um, her daughter. So that's a perfect segue. Maddie, I, I want to give you the stage just for a second to talk about what do you want anybody out there that's listening or maybe a younger version of you, someone that's still in school, maybe in high school, um, to know about you and your path. Oh, I remember we talked about, what All do you right. want people to know about you? Oh, I'm, I'm funny and I'm, I'm funny and, and cute. <laughs> I love you sure are. And I, uh, Mm -mm, think about it. what is it about you? And um, I love animals. You love animals. Yes. And that comes alive in some of your artwork too. Yes. And you're just an, an incredible artist. Um, and in addition, you know, mom said it, you know, when mom's got to take a call or pop out, you were running the front of that store one day and there were a lot of customers in there. And you had to, you know, kind of juggle between ringing a sale up, seeing if a customer had a question, and also telling them about your art. So you're an incredible businesswoman, too, because I've seen you, you know, front and center. So we, we want to get to the heart of this because we want to support reciprocity. And I know, Maddie, you've been busy behind the scenes in... Um, I think creating some holiday cards and I know they sell out pretty quickly. So yeah. how, how can we point someone that doesn't live in Cape Cod? I think you have an online store that people yeah. can buy from. Yes. Yep. It's yeah. uh, the, the website is uh, uh, reciprocity, harwichport dot square dot site. Yeah. S I T E. Um, it's, uh, fairly up to date. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's a lot of work. This has been a learning curve for me too. Uh, but yes, her Christmas cards will be up soon, Linda. Not yeah. all of them have come in and I haven't gotten to photograph them all, but they will be up there. Um, do you want to show Linda a couple of the new ones while she's yeah. on that subject? Oh, I would love to see. So this is my new one. This is a cup of leaf. All right, I got to put these on. Oh, believe that's beautiful, Maddie. Thank I you. love the colors in that. And is that a blank card inside so somebody can write yes. whatever yes. they want to their yes. family, friends, or loved one? Yes. Very, very cool. So that's a great one. The gingerbread man. I did a gingerbread man as well. Layers a little bit. Love it. Love it. He's too cute to eat. <laughs> and what he is available too as a christmas ornament we try to do a christmas ornament every year from her cards we still have some of her snowmen from last year um but they're very cute they're round and they're ceramic and show the stockings and i also did stockings as well 
Oh, I love that. That looks like a collage and has all stockings yeah. in the center of it. Incredible. Yeah. And well, yeah. go ahead, Maddie. Tell me what's what special. Did you want to point something out about that card? Yes. It's, um, the, um, you know those, um, what's those things called? The, those ribbon on, on um, the stockings. Nice. So there's a ribbon around each stocking. Yes. And it's, the, uh, it's hearts for the ribbon. Your signature heart. I love that because that just spreads, you know, love and kindness throughout the world. And that's what really touched me about meeting you both this past summer. So we're, we're absolutely with this is going to be posted to all of our different social media platforms and we'll be able to direct people to the link for the store. Oh, thank you. Uh, so everything is up there. And I guess before we, we close today, I know that you also, um, Becca, you mentioned this really community of artists um, and that it takes, takes a village, but really has, Maddie has inspired so many. And I know when she makes it down to Key West that she has been um, part and featured in some art shows down there. So there's been a wonderful collaboration to yeah. come out of that. Yes. The the only I have to give her a plug because she's amazing. She's been an incredible friend and she actually her name is Maggie Rowley. Um we stumbled upon her um when Maddie was looking at art galleries down in Key West and Maddie she's the only woman that Maddie has taken art classes with other than school. And I'm she my is mentor. and she is your mentor. That's right. Um, she hosts an art show for Maddie every February, appropriately around Valentine's Day. And she's just been an incredible friend to us. Um, she has a beautiful gallery on Fleming Street in Key West. And um, I can't say enough good things. And she came up this past summer and finished the mural on the side of our building, which is absolutely beautiful. So if anybody gets a chance to drive down Cross Street, um, that is Maggie's work on the side of the building and the front oh. of the building. And she taught an art show and she does have a few of her paintings in the shop as well. And she also features Maddie's cards in her gallery. She sells those year round. So um, it, this, this Key West has been an incredible hug for us. Uh, the minute we moved down there, it was, it was just wrapping us in a big hug. It was a great place for Maddie to live part of her year. And it's been a great place for us. And um, sort of like the same feeling that Cape Cod has been, Harwichport has been very welcoming, very supportive. And like you said, our neighbors are incredible. Maddie's very much part of the community here. And I think that's all any parent ever wants is, sure. um, you know, it's beyond inclusion. It's it's beyond looking at the disability, quote unquote, mm -hmm. the challenge and just seeing uh, that's where Maddie lives. You know, she's part of the community and it's yeah. been incredible for us. It's if you had told me that this was going to happen 10 years ago, I would have never believed it. It's been an amazing, amazing journey for us. And like you're the woman that you quoted before, um, people will say to me, wow, you've done a really good job with Maddie. And I would say, no, she's done a really good job with us because yeah. Yeah. she has. Uh, we wouldn't be the people we are today if Maddie hadn't been in our life. Um it's been an amazing, amazing life for us. That is super cool, Maddie. How is it to hear that? You, you, you really are the mentor and the teachers for so many around you. Right. Hey. A good feeling. Yes. Okay. So I want to, I want to close today by, let's say there is someone out there that lives with maybe a, a more specialized medical issue uh, that maybe is afraid that they don't think that they can follow their dreams, become an artist, become a writer, become an engineer. What do you want to say to that younger person, Maddie? I want to say, follow your dream to come and help with this. No, you're on the right. You, you, you're no. amazing. Thank you. This came up with your, um, Oh, what's that word, Cargan? Keep up with your dream. Keep up with your yeah. dream. Yeah. Keep up with your dreams, right? The sky's yes. the limit. Yeah. So I want to thank you for spending some time with us today. And I can't wait to make my way back to the store in person, but I'm going to jump on that online store because I'm <laughs> loving those believe cards. 
All right, get everybody. Give me about three days to get everything on there. Yeah, yeah. So. Listen, I can relate. I know what it's like to keep the website up. You're always behind the eight ball, so Absolutely. we'll do that. But thank you for spending a little bit of time with us today, and Maddie and Becca, thanks for being such you know a bright ray and sunshine to thank the world you. and so yes. many. Keep on drawing. Thank you. I thank will. you for your work. All right. Well, thank you. Right, you bet. You bet. Okay. See you guys soon. Bye bye. Bye. bye.